I'm going to attempt to videoize Tender Crisp tutorial for this cutout thing. Seems a lot of people are having problems with the uh, line tool and just what to do and everything else. Alright, first thing is you get your little picture. I made this little picture up. It has straight lines and plus it has the curves. Next thing you want to do is you want to uh, make another layer. So you go down here got layer number two you got background this is the new layer now when they say you want to click on something this is what they're talking about see how this is grayed out now that one's grayed out or highlighted this is the one you want to make sure because this is the one you want to actually be drawing your lines on you won't want to be drawing it on the actual picture now you pick out your little collar we'll go with the standard old green got your line tool. Now normally it's set at 2. I'm going to set it at uh, 5 so you can see it easier. Now you don't have to draw one complete line at one time. You can go in stages. Like we got the three straight lines here so we'll just bring the line out click anywhere bring the line down click anywhere Back in the, in the corner, bring the line out. That's how you do straight lines. So you can you can do just one at a time. Now you can also click out here so you don't mess anything up in there. Now the tricky part comes with the curves. It's not really that tricky, but some people just have a problem. So I'm here to hopefully try to help out. So we go back on the line there a little bit. Just draw a line down here somewhere. Alright, now, here's those little nubs. That's a nub, that's a nub, that's a nub, that's the start nub. That's what everything pivots on. You can see the handle change. Now, look what happens put, when that hand put, the hand comes up. You right click or left click. Look at that. Look at that thing go. Look how far it'll go. Wow, you can even turn it around to the other side okay so then you just want to fit it around your picture of course you want to bring that one around and then you can go like that but see now you're going to cut off so what you do is you just shorten it up bring it around to where it looks good looks good okay just click outside the picture there Come back in on the line so you don't have the gaps. You just run another line up. Now see how back side of that now curves around? You shorten that up so you can follow the curve a little bit better so it looks better. Whatever curve you got. We have to shorten that up so we don't get a straight line in there. It's just, uh, you know, and you do the same for this one. Just bring it up. See, it's a little bit off there. So now you can actually move that if you want to. And bring that down. Bring that one down. Back it up a little bit so it gets a curve. Back that up just a little bit so it curves. Naturally you're going to have to back this one up. Way up. Okay. And click in or you can click out. Doesn't make no difference. And this should be the last line. We want it to curve. See now I made a gap in there. You don't want that. Anyhow, this is not perfect because we're just doing a little tutorial to show you what how to do it. Okay, now it's it's completely covered. Now the next thing you want to do is see I'll have a little blue in here, but that's no big deal. Next thing you want to do, grab while this is still highlighted layer number two where you draw your lines you can see the lines in there slightly 
you want to grab the magic wand and click inside the picture now you see your little ant lines there and you look make sure there's nothing crossing over so you have no gaps okay we're looking good now you want to press control I now you notice you still have them in here but you have the little ant lines are out here now that's good now problem some people are having is they go ahead and delete it now no now you want to highlight the background because the background is what you want to cut out understand so you hit delete on your keyboard and this checkerboard is that's what it means to be transparent you can save it in GIF or PNG and you open it up in some application there'll be nothing here but the background of whatever you're on now all crap now we still got them lines how do we get rid of them lines well that's fairly easy go back over here highlight layer number two where these lines are at we don't want them no more go down here to the X delete that's all you got left and you can add effects like there was one person was talking about feather feather the edges okay you feather the edges now it makes the edges a little bit smoother actually it kind of just puts like a glow around it it makes them a little bit smoother okay now the thing what I like to do is when I'm cutting out a picture I don't need all this background because the next picture you because it's 500 by 500 next picture you want to maybe put this in might be 400 by 400 now that's going to make that other picture grow which you really don't want so go over here click the rectangle select come in here and just draw your little square around it bring it up and you go up to image crop selection now you got a smaller image it's only 33 333 by 285 you can even crop it smaller and closer if you want to but we're not doing that now you can save it out if you want to right now uh, so you can have it for other application or other pictures you want to paste on but we're not going to some people are having a problem putting it on another layer put it on another pick so what we're going to do is we're going to import uh, uh, another layer we'll just pick this first one now you notice you don't see it it's because the background when the one you want to paste needs to be on top so you can untick either one of these it doesn't make any difference whatever one you untick them the arrow will point one way or the other that means that'll be bringing this one down now if you tick that tick that the other arrow comes up okay that's weird okay now what you want to do though is you, you want to make that whole background transparent on that background pick see now you have it in there now with this still highlighted the background pick uh, dummy okay get the move selected pixels tool now you can move it around it wherever you want it put it anywhere you want it, it don't make no difference once you put it wherever you want it you click control D and it'll it'll stay there now some people said they were having a problem with resizing the uh, pick the air add, add none well no no problem see these little nubs or handles one in every corner one on every side top and bottom you just get that bring it down take the one over here bring it over bring it up a little bit you can take the corner ones and it'll just go like that and now you can put it in where you want no, no problem so this is where we're going to put it now I click control D gets rid of that line now if you go to save it out 
it comes out of the PDN image. Well, we don't want that. These two have to be merged together. But down at the bottom there, you can merge layer down. That'll merge them together. Or you can go up to image, flatten. Now you have one pick. Save as whatever you want to save it as. Now it'll come up as a PNG. Now you can save it out as a PNG, a JPEG, GIF, bitmap. I don't care. Save it out whatever you want. I hope I help some of y'all understand this easy process of cutting out. And that's it.